Hello cookbook friends, my name is Carrie and I'm a cookbook diva and could I resist grabbing a cookbook from my library with the title Tart It Up? No I couldn't! Sweet and Savory Tarts and Pies by Eric Landlord. I have to check this out. Thanks for coming along on the ride with me. Came out in 2017. Photography by Kate Whitaker. Ooh, I like savory tarts. Okay, contents, savory tarts and pies, quick savory bakes, savory accompaniments, sweet tarts and pies, quick sweet bakes, sweet accompaniments. That is a very simple table of contents and I appreciate that. Introduction, here's our author, Eric. Okay, pastry basics. Oh, I didn't see that in the table of contents. Kind of important. Okay, flaky pastry dough, sweet flaky pastry dough, almond flaky pastry dough. It's almost like a tongue twister. Chocolate flaky pastry dough with step-by-step -step photos. I appreciate those so much. Brioche pastry dough. I am not that brave. But that is my favorite color. Teal, aqua, turquoise, etc. And I didn't know they made that color in a kitchen stand mixer because mine's red. Now I want to switch. I'm angry now. That's fine. Okay, step-by-step -step puff pastry. I'm going to buy mine, but thank you for the... Mm -hmm. How to line a pan, how to pre-bake. This is all very important. Thank you. Let's get into the savory tarts and pies. There's my favorite color again. Now I want your mixing bowl. Okay, savory. This is a spring garden green tart. Looks great. Mediterranean tart. I see tomatoes. Can't show you the whole book. Here's a caramelized onion and feta tart and a Moroccan pastilla tart. No pictures. Sad face. A Brittany seafood tart, something I wouldn't have thought of making. Cool. Upside down heirloom tomato tart to tan. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I'm going to keep going. A fig lardon and dolce latte tart. Now what is lardon? Is it pig? Is it pork? I know it's, well, just because it has the word lard in it, I'm like, what? Maybe lardon is something else. A real quiche Lorraine. Real is in quotes. Whoa, this is unusual. Belgian endive and prosciutto tart. Pretty. Okay, mushroom feta and cherry tomato tart. Zucchini ribbon and roasted pepper tart. Very useful for harvest time when you've grown too much zucchini on accident because the dang stuff reproduces like crazy. Whoa, here is the first thing in this cookbook I would rush to make immediately. Artichoke and black olive tart. I don't have any artichokes in the house, but I have a store five minutes away. Heritage beet and broccoli tart. I never would have thought of making that. That looks incredible. If you like beets, not everyone does. Salmon, whole grain mustard, and dill tartlets. That would be cute for a little cocktail party, but I would make them smaller, but that sounds so good. Roasted red pepper and goat cheese tart. Okay, chicken sweet bread pie. Iberian chicken pie. Oh, can you imagine coming home on a snowy day or a really cold rainy day and someone's made you this for dinner with a salad, glass of your favorite wine or beer or cider? Wow, I'd feel loved. Scallop and zucchini crumb pie. <laughs> Seafood potato pie, butternut squash and mushroom pie, turkey and chestnut pie. Scallop mushroom, okay, game pies. Keep going, keep going. Pork and cider pie. And eventually we'll get to the sweet pies. Shredded duck pie. I'm not shredding any ducks. Calzone. I did not expect to see that in here. That's cool. Step-by-step -step photos for the calzone. Thank you. I need those. Miso cod in brioche pie. That's an interesting mashup of cultures. <laughs> Quick savory bake. Savory accompaniments. Now we're in the sweet chapter. We're halfway through the book. If you're still here, don't forget to subscribe, click like, comment, say something nice, etc. Thank you very much. If you do any of that, it'll help the social media algorithms show you more of our posts and reviews. Apricot honey and pistachio tarts. West Indies chocolate tart. Hmm. How about, how about rhubarb and strawberry tart? Great for spring. Tart of citron, pear and hazelnut tart, great for fall and harvest. A gypsy tart, I didn't know we could say that word anymore. Strawberry tart royale. Step-by-step -step photos for the strawberry tart royale, thank you. Cherry clafouti tart. 
Matcha and yuzu tart. Oh, Asian influence. Nice. Warm flambéed banana and chocolate tart. Banana and rum pie. Hey, now I want to drink rum. Apricot and saffron pies. Whoa, what's this? I have to show you this. Whoa. Some kind of meringue, of course, obviously. And we get to the end. Raspberry cheesecake pie. <laughs> cool. And apricot and pistachio pithivier pie? Pithivier? I have no idea how to say that, and I did not just say piss. Mango and green peppercorn pie. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Wow, I love it. Especially all the savory tarts. I totally want to get cooking. A tart is great for dinner because two people can split it, and then you have a salad, and maybe a little fruit or something for dessert. You have cider or beer to go with it. Ah, this is Tarted Up, Sweet and Savory Tarts and Pies by Eric Landlord. We are Cookbook Divas. If you'd like to see more of our cookbook reviews, we post them to Facebook, YouTube, occasionally Pinterest. On Instagram, we have reels and cookbook news, and we have cookbook news and gossip on our blog, cookbookdivas.com. <laughs> Thanks for listening to all of that, and uh, bye!